you're pro- you know i always talk about um your progressives in congress and i and i um you know, whenever I talk about them, I always assume that people know a lot and well, and they don't. Um, and that's OK. You know, politics is not something people like to focus on. You know, for some people it is. And that's because we have no life. And for some people it isn't. And that's because their life is better than ours. But um, I just I just wanted to talk about last weekend. So there was a Medicare for all march. And I bet you didn't know that. And and you know, for me, I was I was a little busy, and and you know, I just couldn't talk about it. But also, the mainstream media never talked about it. And they always go against Medicare for all because you know they're funded by, uh, you know, they're they're funded by big pharma and the healthcare industry and 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 all of that. And so. You know, whenever you see things about these drugs and, oh, I got this and it made me feel so much better. And then they use Olympians to do their corrupt work. Um, so so they do all of that and then get you right. And so they come, sorry, they do that on TV and then they come up with, with things like it may cause death and harm to your body. Ask your doctor about this if you don't want to die. Mm. Thank you. So the the Medicare for All March was on. And you know that is the single payer system where we would have no medical debt, no medical debt, no people dying because they didn't have health care. You know if they die it's because of uh, of another reason but not because they don't have health care. We wouldn't have people in medical debt. We wouldn't have well I think I already said that but we wouldn't have people going homeless because they don't have medic medic uh, uh Medicare or or just health care in general. We would have more people going to the doctor. We would have more problems diagnosed, more illnesses diagnosed and possibly even cured because they 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 would have health care. Um you know, there would be no out of network this and in network that. You wouldn't have to go to the store and spend and and, and be told, well, the the insurance company doesn't want to pay for this and they don't want to pay for that, or they only want to pay for half of this, so you got to pay the other half, or this medicine is not covered, or because you got it from this nurse or this doctor, they're not covered under that insurance, or hey, we know you need this back operation, but our doctor, not your doctor, our doctor says no. Well, but my doctor says yes. Well, our doctor says no. Who is this doctor? Can I talk to him? No. So you wouldn't have any of that, which is why, you know, and so, but anyway, so the, the Congress, you know, we've been asking the squad to force the vote. Why force the vote, Jason? Because if you force the vote, you leverage your power. Those of you who've been watching my channel for a while, you know I was screaming for force to vote, literally yelling my, my, my ass off and screaming my lungs off because I wanted Medicare for all. And, you know, it costs less. It costs less for the American people. The American people save more. And, and you know, the squad wouldn't leverage their power. They wouldn't do a single goddamn thing for you. They wouldn't leverage their power. And they wouldn't say, we're not going to give Pelosi our vote for speakership. We're not going to let her become Speaker of the House unless she decides decides to give us Medicare for all. To let it at least come to a floor vote. Vote it up. Vote it. I don't give a damn if you vote it down. Vote it up. Vote it down. I don't care. The point is, we want a floor vote on Medicare for all. And um, because if you would have done that, you would have outraged more people. If the the Democratic Party, the, uh, the what the the party that is the the supposed opposite of the Republican Party, would have voted against people having health care in the middle of a freaking pandemic, they would have been outraged by that, and there you would have been able to make a list of every single person who who didn't vote for Medicare for all, and. And run against them. In fact, Alexandria Ocasio Cortez was bragging. Oh my God, the people who won the, in the midterm elections and or in the presidential election, 
you know, 90 whatever percent of them were because of Medicare for all. And then they get in and they don't fight for Medicare for all. And then she uh, they, she, she had said, oh, well, we, we can't force the vote on Medicare for all because um, it'll or Pramila Jayapal said it'll ruin our movement. No, it's not going to ruin the movement. Like I just said, you take the names who voted against Medicare for all, you run ads against them, primary their asses and get someone who will fight for Medicare for Medicare for all. It would help the movement. You know, the civil rights movement didn't just happen like, hey, we uh, us black people would like rights. OK, here. Here, have rights. No, it didn't work like that. They failed a billion times. The women's suffrage movement had, they voted, they forced the vote three times before it passed. Three. And they failed. And then they started chaining themselves. I think in the middle of that, they started, or after that, they started chaining, the women started chaining themselves, the new feminists started chaining themselves to the White House fence. So when Woodrow Wilson went to sleep overnight and then he woke up the next morning, he would see the women outside of his window chained to the fence of the White House. They were that brave. They risked their lives to get the vote. And they forced it. But the squad doesn't do that. And then AOC said, well, we have 118 co-sponsors. Why don't you show it? Anyway, so there was a march. And guess who never showed up? No representative showed up. Not Ro Khanna, not Pramila Jayapal. Pramila Jayapal is the, the, the main proponent of Medicare for All in the House. She didn't even show up. Bernie Sanders never showed up. The, Marie Newman, Jamal Bowman, Jamie Raskin. Mark Spokan, a uh, Spokan, neither of them, none of them showed up. None of them. None of them showed up. So, and, and, and excuse me, there's just laundry going on. But so none of them show up. And they don't even, they don't even speak at the marches. They don't even acknowledge that it's happening. They don't put up the word about these marches. At all. At all. They don't even talk about it. And then the one representative who went to the D.C. march said that she was against the plan because it would hurt the movement. It's not right. So first they tell you to organize. Oh, you need to organize for the movement. You need to organize. So you organize, and then guess what? They don't even show up. They actually don't even show up. Can you believe that? The people who are supposed to be fighting for Medicare for all. The people who are supposed to be fighting on what they ran on in the first place. And they don't even do it. Because they're all taking Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders is taking orders from Joe Biden, Nancy Pelosi, and Chuck fucking Schumer. That's who he's taking orders from. He's not leveraging his power that he has as the budget committee chairman. He's not, right? We went over this this week. Um, when I when I played that video with him and Crystal Ball of him with uh, in, being interviewed by Crystal Ball, we don't have that Bernie Sanders that would be leveraging his vote and saying I'm not going to vote for this unless we have Medicare for all, minimum wage, or this or that. Nothing. We don't have any of that. So, and 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 and, and the squad, their their movement is in the streets. Their movement is in the streets, but they're not in the streets. They're not in, and, and they don't need to be in the streets. They have the power. We put them there already. Stop calling Pelosi mama bear and start taking care of the rest of the mamas and the daddies out here and their kids. Pelosi is corrupt. She doesn't care about the American people. And it seems like the squad doesn't care about the American people either. Because when you get into Congress, you get the fucking book deals and the speaking fees and the this and the that. And if you stay there long enough for five years, you get a pension for the rest of your effing life. And that's what they're there for. That's what they're there for. They're not actually here for you. Otherwise, they would have been at that march in over 50 cities, by the way. That's the part I forgot to mention. Organized by over 400 groups or 500 groups. Except... Bernie Sanders, AOC, Pramila Jayapal, and the rest of the squad. That's why we say it's the fraud squad, the hashtag fraud squad, because they are. They're absolutely awful.